I swear, what how that song go? And I would give anything I own. I give up my life, my heart, my home. I would give anything I own. Just for peace once again. Just to have it once again. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your illustrious host. Uh, listen, wait a minute. First, before I get started, I want to ask y'all a question because most of y'all are pretty uh, knowledgeable out there, and uh, I'm not really good with gadgets. Um, and I purchased this thing a little while ago. Um, I don't know if any of y'all, do anybody know anything about this? This is that blend jet thing, thingy. Um, and I'm trying, okay, so I've used it a lot, right? Like maybe, a, well, not really a lot, maybe like 10 times. Let's just say that. If it's been that much. Um, and it won't, I can't, I can't charge it up. So even when I push the button, I can see that the light, you know, the lights still come on and everything. But is there anybody out there that can drop me a line and tell me how to charge this bad boy up? It doesn't make any sense. The damn thing been on the charge way more than an hour. And um, I still can't get it to charge. You know, so I'm kind of missing my smoothies and, you know, I don't want to get off track. <laughs> Um, really trying to get this weight down and, you know, it, smoothies help a lot. When you start talking about that pre-diabetic stuff, you know, you have to really watch yourself. And so, and, um, you know, being in my early 60s, it sounds good. <laughs> wow. Um, I have to make sure that, uh. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, juicing my stuff, my vegetable stuff, and I haven't been able to do it now. So, if anybody could drop me a line, let me know. I would really, really, really appreciate it, fam. Okay. Now, now that I got that out the way, oh, let me also uh, say again, thank you for everybody who has donated to the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. However, I would like to ask you um, to continue. Uh, because I'm, I'm really trying to take this production up to another level and we aim to do that and I need to put certain things in place and that will happen. So continue to support the channel in any way you can and I will really appreciate it. I don't think that t that, um, the t-shirts and stuff are up yet, but you know, by purchasing the t-shirt or when they get up or, uh, a mask, uh, protecting your mental dome or. We got a lot of them with a lot of good slogans on there. And um, hopefully something that you like that jump out on you to support the channel. Um, trying to get this uh, up and running the way we should. And um, we need the support. So, but, 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 but before I go real, 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 real crazy. Make sure you give your babies a hug today. Okay? Soften up your spirit. Give your babies a hug. Okay? Don't forget that. All right, now let's on to the crap. On to the crap. On to the crap. Y'all, listen. This is just insane. We don't have we don't have a lot of confidence and you can't say anything about it. We already know this country is never, it's, it, it, it'll never do anything in the best interest of us. So what we have to do is really make up our mind where we stand. We can't straddle the fence. you either hot or cold. Because, as y'all know, we already knew the judge um, was a little obnoxious in the Kyle Rittenhouse case. But this time the judge, 
a presiding judge over the trial of the Illinois teenager has drawn criticism over the court of the proceed over the course of the proceedings. And one issue has been the fact that he's apparently received phone calls during the trial. Okay, so he's already doing this type of shit, receiving phone calls. You know, disrespecting the courtroom himself. The rule of law, but remember, he's a judge and he's a white man, so he does whatever the hell he wants to do. And this is getting to be a little bit sickening. Um, from the last narcissist that y'all elected president, who has turned stirred the pot. The pot was already boiling. I told you that. It, everybody been a watch per person that has since, and we already knew that was a powder keg burning. Okay. But for those of us who know and have studied um, and been around people with severe personality disorders, we knew one of the most ignorant things that a freaking country could do is to elect somebody like Donald Trump. Okay, And who in their might right mind, anybody with any kind of common sense wouldn't even vote for nobody like that. Not even so much if you didn't, because he didn't have no politics. He just talked a lot of shit. But the fact that if you knew, like, people in New York, then we knew how he ruined shit, how he was a liar, how his big bankrupt. I mean, come on. Anybody who is worth, worth the grain of salt that's past 40, know the hell about Donald Trump. They know about uh, Central Park boys. This, this dude is, was big crazy. So the fact, the mere fact that we would allow him to be president of the United States was already sick, okay? But we did it. He walked down the aisle, down the uh, escalator. All Mexicans are rapists. Now we got this judge. We already knew Judge Schroeder. We knew. We already knew the guy was racist. From day one, from Jump Street. But he still was allowed to preside over the case. He did all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, all kinds of shit before this trial even started. Alright? Well, yesterday the dude's phone rang. And... Um, <laughs> the ring tone is the well-known patriotic... Uh, anthem, God bless the USA, by country singer and songwriter Lee Greenwood. <clears throat> that song is highly favored by former President Donald Trump. Rittenhouse is facing five charges, including homicide, attempted homicide, arising from the shooting deaths of Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber, and injuries sustained by Gage Gross. Kurtz in the aftermath of protests against police violence in Kenosha. The whole trial is a shit show. Okay, that's number one. Now, to be further insulted is we have to listen to the judge play tunes and none against Lee Greenwood because, uh, I don't know what Lee Greenwood's heart was when he made that song. But I don't think he's comfortable with Donald Trump using it to divide the world. I think I know the heart of Lee Greenwood enough to know that. At least I would hope so. Okay? he didn't, For Donald to fully embrace this song, um, there's a lot of Presidents who have embraced songs that the artist wasn't repulsed by it. Whether they came out and put a cease and desist on it or whatever. But the fact of the uh, matter is, you know, it wasn't like Kid Rock. So, the, uh, the fact that um, this Judge Schroeder, and I'm often wondering if this judge has got any ties to Ricky Schroeder. I'll find that out. And we will find that out. 
The speculation will likely not be tampered down by his choice of a popular patriotic song. The tune was played as walk-on music at campaign rallies in 2016 and 2020. Greenwood also performed the song at Trump's 2017 inauguration. Okay, so he did perform the song. And at least one rally for the president in 2018. Okay, so he is a bitch. Didn't know that. Okay. Okay, before the former pres oh before the former president's inauguration, Lee Greenwood and he who was cousin is Lee Greenwood. Um Mickey Gilly. You know, I'm familiar with country music, y'all. I mean, and I like country music. So just so you know. And every country artist ain't a racist. So and did you know that uh, Jimmy Swaggart and uh, who else? Jerry Lee Lewis, and they cousins. And um, who else? Mickey Gilly. What's the other cousin that he died? Uh, oh wow! I but I didn't know it. Now I wonder. I wonder how he felt that this was before the inauguration. And it said that he performed with him. But th this thing ain't about Lee Greenwood. It's just, I don't think there's any doubt that uh, Donald Trump is a patriot. He's a businessman. He's going to do good for our country. Greenwood was also previously a member of the National Council for the Arts having been appointed by then-President George Bush. He was removed from that position by President Joe Biden. A uh, figure told Fox News that he was shocked by the move and described God bless the USA as meant for all people, not just a particular Political party. Oh, well, the fact that you didn't tell Donald Trump and you endorsed it, Nick, dude, didn't help. So here and now, under Biden administration, that he's clean house and he's finally fired a patriot, I was quite shocked to tell you the truth. I didn't get a phone call or a letter. It was just an email, Greenwood said. Well, good. Because if you are racist, and then you go with it. Who is his cousin? Mickey Gilly? I don't want to keep going there. Let me stop. If y'all know the answer, please put it in the box because I'll be obsessed with it. Um, the defense made closing arguments in the written hour case, written house case on trial, um, and, and on Thursday, and closing arguments are due to take place Monday. Okay. I want to know if this Judge Schroeder uh, is any relationship to Ricky Schroeder. I'm very curious. Because all this stuff usually be connected. And they don't know a judge and they don't know a friend. And we'll make sure we get it in his court. That's how white supremacy works. See, we don't have those kind of connections like that, black people. Right? Otherwise, we wouldn't be uh, on the back end of so much garbage. We would find a way to make the laws more balanced and just. Not just for people with money or people that are white. You know, so, and they know that. You know, so this judge, the fact that he not only is arrogant enough to not to turn his phone off, he got the nerve to let Lee Greenwood and that Donald Trump theme song to be playing. I just say, God bless America. Uh, I mean, really, God bless America, because this shit, <laughs> i just say one thing, and I, I think this is very important. I think the most truism, the truth postulate that Martin Luther King said was this. If we can't learn to live as brothers, we're going to perish it as fools. Because y'all ain't going to keep on doing this to a people 
that have shown you over and over and over again that you've trained them well. But the jig is up. And we're getting tired. We're mentally, emotionally wore out. And we wish y'all would just leave us alone. You know, and then y'all get mad when people start talking about separatism. How can you even trust anything when your own very judge not only is a white supremacist, but he's now playing the song Identify with the White Supremacist campaign? Leave y'all comments below. God bless America.